Hey guys, it's Corey, and welcome back to another buying guide with 10 best ones. Today, we'll talk about which are the five best picks, how to choose the correct product, and what you should look at before buying. We've ranked these products based on their price, quality, durability, performance, and more. If you'd like to see their price and find out more information, you can check out the links in the description down below. To make it easier, we will include timestamps in the description as well. Let's get started. Before looking at our best picks for today's video, I want to discuss what you should look at before buying. Sound bars, like every tech device these days, come in different shapes and sizes. There's a size for everyone here, some just a foot long, others larger than most TVs out there. Of course, with a larger size, there comes a higher price, which means that we should steer away from them for this list. But even if you can afford a larger soundbar, don't go for those larger than your actual TV, because first, they'll look bad, and the sound will be disproportionate. So it's not always wiser to buy the biggest soundbar that you can, Rather buy something that better fits your needs, room, and TV. There are some charts out there that act as guides you can follow. Secondly, connectivity. While you use your soundbar mainly for your TV, it's important to have it compatible running with other devices as well. In the past, to connect the TV and the soundbar, you did so via the optical output, but these days, HDMI is making things easier. There are other tricks nowadays as well, such as HDMI ports with audio return channels, and they don't need any other remotes. However, to have a more versatile soundbar, you need more connections. For example, multiple HDMIs are nice, Wi-Fi is a great thing to have, Bluetooth and other audio ports. And smart features. In the past, soundbars and speakers were just sound devices. However, in the last few years, smart technologies are everywhere thanks to the advanced software. And now even your soundbar might have an OS and voice assistant to help you out in your daily tasks. For those that aren't used to it, I suggest you start using your favourite voice assistant right now. There are different ones available in soundbars such as Alexa and Google Assistant, but then again, in the budget range, there might be some options that lack this feature. We are going to start this list with the best budget option that you can get your hands on. For those that want a superb and cheap soundbar, I'd recommend the Vizio SB2920C6. It's cheap and for its budget price, delivers some excellent qualities. This is also one of the most popular soundbars out there, and while it might not be very large or have the most features, it delivers a pleasant experience and will boost the sound quality and performance of your TV watching experience. The first thing you'll notice about the Vizio SB2920C6 is that it has a rather compact and simple design overall. It measures just 29 inches in length, after all, and it's pretty small, making it an excellent choice when it comes to fitting into smaller entertainment rooms. It'll fit straight under your TV and it has a good, attractive look to it that'll elevate the aesthetics of the room overall. One thing that surprised me was the luxury feel, which is pretty rare to see at this price point. Minimal and to the point, the Vizio SB2920C6 has achieved some great qualities. Before moving on, I should mention that the Vizio SB2920C6 has Bluetooth features for pairing it with any device such as your smartphone. Coming into the sound performance of the Vizio SB2920C6, you'll see that it has more than enough to get the job done. First off, I should mention that it has a frequency response range that spans from 70 to 19,000 Hz, which is pretty good, but don't expect sub bass range. It has a 2.0 channel setup and delivers a great sound quality with a nice range, and I found that the harmonic distortion is very little, almost none. Moving up, we have the most versatile model out there. Let's take a look. Like I said in the buying guide, everything is becoming smarter these days, and if you want a soundbar that has good sound quality and tons of apps, then the Roku Smart Soundbar is the perfect option for you. As we all know these days, the Roku Smart platform is becoming more popular than ever, as it's extremely easy to use and delivers a very intuitive experience. So if you want that built into a speaker, then you're in for a treat. The Roku Smart Soundbar looks like most soundbars out there. It's not something that you would call revolutionary or something. It has an oblong shape and it's grey overall with its excellent 32.2 by 3.9 by 2.8 inches. And this means it's a great option for most TVs out there regardless of the size. It's a bit tall though, not the slimmest out there, but I reckon it won't cause any unnecessary problems. I can say that for its price, it has a great design and quality, no major flaws overall. On the back of this soundbar, you'll find the HDMI port, an optical audio port, and holes for the mounting brackets. 
The initial setup process of the Roku Smart Soundbar is pretty much foolproof, and you can do it even if you don't have any technical knowledge. Just connect it to the power source and connect it to your TV via the HDMI cable that's included in the package. If your TV lacks HDMI ARC ports, you can use the optical audio output to get going. What impressed me the most was that this device combined flawlessly with a Roku wireless subwoofer that should create a better experience. The first thing that I noticed about the performance of the Roku Smart Soundbar is that it delivered much better bass than all the TVs that I had available for testing. Besides that, the dialogues came out clean and all the sound effects came out pretty excellently. I mostly prefer to play console games with headphones, but if you want to, you can use these for that setup as well. For the price and smart features that they offer, the Roku Smart Soundbar is an immense addition to your entertainment room. This next option is one of the best sounding models out there. Coming up as the third entry on our list is the Yamaha YAS109, which is one of the better made budget soundbars out there. One of the most interesting qualities of the Yamaha YAS109 is that it delivers Alexa and Spotify Connect, built-in Wi-Fi and different sound modes. However, the biggest selling point of this soundbar is its amazing sound quality that managed to impress everyone. I can comfortably say that the Yamaha YAS109 has a beautiful and well thought out design. It's pretty minimal and you'll forget about it, which is a thing that many soundbar manufacturers forget. A soundbar is placed under the TV in 98% of the cases, and if it has a flashy or eye-catching design, it means it's not a good device in my opinion. The Yamaha YAS109 has a cloth-covered body that blends into the background and won't take any of your attention. Closer up to the device, you'll see the indicators for volume, source selection, digital surround sound, and clear voice feature of the company that's designed to specifically allow you to hear every word that they're saying on the screen. There, you'll also spot a button for activating Alexa without the wake word from the two microphones that are located in the body. The remote control of the device is pretty simple as well and delivers a pleasant experience. I have no complaints about that either. The built-in Alexa feature is one of my favourite features and combined with the Spotify Connect feature, you can have plenty of fun with it. In terms of connectivity, it has an HDMI ARC port and a second HDMI input that's great for consoles, for example. It has different video and audio features such as the Dolby Pro Logic 2, DTS Digital Surround and DTS Virtual X technology that all elevate the whole sound quality. The sound performance is the smoothest you can get in the budget range and it works flawlessly both with music and movies. Combined with a nice subwoofer, you have yourself the perfect setup. If quality is your main focus, then you should consider this next model, because it has the best build quality. If you want a fail-safe soundbar, you should invest in a device that comes from a big name brand, but the problem is that quality brands don't usually put out budget products. However, the Bose Solo 5 is a perfect exception to that rule, as this one delivers excellent build quality, sound and a wide range of features that will impress even the most nitpicky users. Let's take a closer look. First off, I should mention that the Bose has not disappointed us yet in terms of build quality and it's delivered an amazing array of devices that ooze quality. This one is no different. I have to mention that the whole thing is rather small and compact as it measures 21.5 by 3.4 by 2.8 inches in total. It's the smallest on this list, making it a perfect option for a wide range of different setups. The whole thing weighs about 3.7 pounds as well, and the design of this soundbar is pretty much excellent, with an all-black minimalist design with a Bose logo in the middle. There are no control buttons on the soundbar itself, but the manufacturer has included a nice universal remote control that's pretty easy to use and has tons of controls. I found out that you can even control your TV, Blu-ray player and satellite box without remote control, which is pretty convenient if you want one remote to rule them all. In terms of connectivity, the setup is pretty simple, with an optical port, coaxial and aux connections. There's no HDMI port unfortunately, but you have Bluetooth connectivity. The sound quality of the Bose Solo 5 was excellent without any major flaw. There are different modes you can activate, such as the dialog mode that allows you to hear spoken words without any compromise. The dual speakers on the middle of the soundbar deliver a good sound stage. Don't expect a stereo quality, but it delivered some nice sound effects overall. Next up, we have a model which gives you the best value for your money. For those that want to get the most value for their price, I can recommend the TCL Alto 7 Plus, which is one of my favourite in this price range. This package comes as a 2.1 audio setup with a soundbar and subwoofer combo. While it doesn't have many extras for most cases, it's an excellent package that'll make you happy. 
The TCO Alto 7 Plus soundbar measures about 36 by 2.5 by 3.9 inches in total and has a black plastic casing that's regularly sized for most people in my opinion. It has a forward-facing grille that covers the pair of 1.5-inch tweeters and dual 2.5 by 4.5-inch mid-range drivers under it. There's a TCL logo that's located in the middle of the grille, and up top you'll spot the control panel that gives you control of the power, source, Bluetooth and volume. On the back of the device, you'll find the connectivity ports that include HDMI ARC, optical, 3.5mm AUX, IR pass-through and USB. On top of that, it has Bluetooth connectivity, so you can stream audio from your phone thanks to that. In the package of the device, you'll find cables including HDMI ARC, optical, 3.5mm AUX and IR pass-through, so you can get started from the get-go. The subwoofer also has the same design and it measures about 12.9 by 8.3 by 9.8 inches and has a 6 inch woofer placed on the rear. The performance of the TCL Alto 7 Plus is exemplary and has set up a perfect standard for the budget range. For example, the movie mode works wonders and I'll watch my favourite movie for checking its performance, Blade Runner 2049, and I have to say, I'm impressed. The effects were immersive, the dialogue was clear and the score sounded brilliant. I also played some tunes on it, and I can say it's pretty good overall.